Hi student, today we are going to see 9 standard syllabus. 9 standard syllabus uh, chemical bonding. We know that atom. So, uh, atom is what smallest uh, fundamental particle. The atom is consist of a, uh, if you take an atom, so many factors we have discussed in Roy classes. So, atom is the smallest particle if you know that. Whether atom will combine, okay, whether it will exist free state or whether atom will exist in the combined state. There are two questions. If you take an atom except the noble gases, remaining all the atoms, uh, they will combine with each other and they will form a molecule. But if you take a noble gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, will not combine with each other and it will exist as it is in a monoatomic state. Even it is not forming a diatomic molecule also. So now we are going to see about first what is atom and what is molecule, how the molecule is formed. So if you take an atom, the atom will exist freely. Suppose if you are taking that uh, except to noble gases, all the atoms will exist what as it is independent. So if you take a molecule formation, the atom combined to form a molecule, to form a molecule. So if I am taking the molecule formation, whatever may be the atom, let me take a simple example, if I am taking a, a oxygen one atom. So the oxygen one atom combines with the oxygen another atom to form a O2. This is a molecule. So if you take this is an atom, this is also one more atom combined to form a diatomic molecule that is called a molecule state. So this will exist in the free state that will exist in the combined state. Molecule will be exist in the combined state. And I told you already except the noble gases, other atom will combine and it forms a molecule. Now there is one more question arises, how the molecule will be formed? If you take one oxygen, another oxygen, okay, there will be formation of a molecule. And what happens between the atom? Actually, in between the atom, there is a, a bond formed between the two oxygen atoms. We know that in between oxygen and oxygen, there will be a two single bonds will be formed. That is in a diatomic state. So we know that uh, how that atom will combine, how this atom will combine to form a molecule means there will be some force of attraction because the molecule will not exist as it is. So atom will exist freely but molecule will not exist what, as a molecule has existed freely but in that the atoms will combine by using of a strong force of attraction. Uh, like if you are taking that uh, any molecule, one atom will combine with the another atom and it forms a molecule. But how that molecule will be formed by the by using of a bond formation. So this is only we are telling that it is a force of attraction. So in between the two atoms there must be exist some force of attraction that holds the atom together that binds the atom together and it exists as a molecule. And this force of attraction, this force of attraction only we name it as a bond formation okay now uh, we are telling that this is force of attraction how the bond is formed the bond can be formed by the sharing of uh, electrons so where the electrons will be present the electrons will be present in the atom and which electrons will be involved in the uh, sharing only the valence electron will be involved in the sharing that's and all we are going to see excess that force of attraction only that holds the atom together and from that what is how can you define the chemical bond 
how can you define the chemical bond so the chemical bond it is nothing but a force of attraction a force of attraction that holds the atom together together to form a molecule okay to form the molecule so what is chemical bond means uh, the, the force of attraction that holds the atom together to form a molecule a molecule has a single unit so atom may be may be a same kind of atom or different kind of atom a molecule will be a single unit so like that okay a atom will be a same or you can take a different atom also homo atomic molecule also possible hetero atomic molecule also possible so this is a chemical bond formation okay next to explain this next we are going to see the causal lewis approach okay now what is this causal lewis approach before that we are the, we are taking that atoms of different element or same element combined to form a molecule and this phenomena put uh, forward a uh, many questions what are all the questions how do atoms combines how do atoms combines why do atoms combines why do atoms combine why certain atoms combine but some atom not combined okay so this arises some questions that is how do atoms combines there is one more one question why do atoms combines one more question arises and why certain atom combines but some of them are not combines there are some questions will be arises based on this causal lewis approach whenever the atoms combine will get a molecule but how it is possible okay to answer this questions okay we are taking the causal lewis approach okay we are taking that this type of approach this uh, this two scientists only they gave a satisfactory explanation now what is that explanation okay they they are giving the explanation based on the noble gas electronic configuration that explanation based on noble gas electronic configurations okay why we are taking that noble gas we know already uh, noble gas uh, we are taking that uh, the noble gas as it is it is existing in the free state it is not in the combined state why so if i am taking noble gases first i will list out the noble gases and i will give a electronic configuration then we will see what happened to the noble gases okay so first of all the element the noble gas element i'll give you the list first we'll take a helium first and second one neon third one argon fourth it is krypton and fifth one xenon and radon these are all the noble gases we know so what is the symbol for helium uh, we know that he symbol neon n e argon a o krypton xenon and radon okay if i am taking this element what is the atomic number of this if i am taking what is atomic number we know the number of uh, electrons or number of protons present in the atom only the atomic number if i am taking that atomic number for this for this noble gases if i am taking helium the atomic number is 2 neon the atomic number is 10 argon 18 krypton 36 xenon 54 and radon 86 will be possible 
Okay. Now, these are all the atomic number of the noble gas family. Now, let me check what is the shell electronic configuration. That is... Shell electronic configuration. So, if I am taking the shell electronic configuration, so I can, based on the atomic number, I will give the uh, location of the electron in the shell. First, I am taking helium. The atomic number is 2. The first shell will be occupied only the 2 electrons. Second, I am going to take a neon. Neon atomic number is 10. So, if I am taking a neon atomic number 10, the shell electron 2 first shell and second shell will be 8 electrons. If I am taking organ, so 18, so first shell will contain 2, second shell will be 8 and third shell also will be 8, 18. And if I am taking krypton, 36, so, so shell electronic configurations, if I am taking this, 36 will be 2, 8, second shell, 18 and fourth shell will be 8, 2, 8, 18 and 8. And xenon, 54, if I am taking 54, the first shell will be 2, second shell will be the 8 electron, third shell will be 18 electron, fourth shell will be 18 electron, now your fifth shell will be ended with only 8 electrons. And same way if I am taking radon 86, the first shell will be 2, second shell will be number of electrons uh, 8, third will be 18 and fourth will be 32 and fifth will be 18 and the last shell will contain 8 electrons. Okay. Now you look at this first, uh, this is a noble gas, but a noble gas has a stabilized electronic configuration, noble gas has a completely filled electronic configuration. Why we are giving this completely filled means, now you check out, uh, helium only 2 electrons. So except the helium, if you take all the elements, the last shell containing a number of electrons, if I am taking 8, completely filled. So, completely filled means uh, overall in the periodic table except this noble gas because the noble gas only a completely filled electronic configuration except this others will combine. Okay, others will combine with another atom to form a molecule. This will exist as it is in the monoatomic state. So, the atomicity of the noble gases is only one. So, the atomicity is only one. Okay, now um, next if you are taking this table, all this element ended with the, except the helium, all element, the electronic configuration ended with the 8 electrons. Okay, now the second will come, that is, based on this noble gas configuration only, Kozel and Lewis approach the formation of a molecules. But how this formed? So, based on the shell electronic configuration only, they are, they are given that idea, okay, about the octet rule. Now, what is this octet rule? Okay, what is this octet rule? Okay, based on the noble gas configuration. So, what is octet rule means? The tendency of an atom to add 8 electrons in the valence shell. That is, tendency of atom to add 8 electrons, 8 electrons in the in the valence shell. Okay. Now I will give you uh, the outer rule will obey only to this except helium because the helium is only 2. Remaining only will have what? 8 electron in the valence shell. So we can the outer rule obeyed by all the noble gases except helium. But in the helium there must be completely filled electronic configuration. Only 2 electrons, that 2 will be filled. The shell will be filled by the 2 electrons. So, the stabilized electronic configuration possible for all the element, but the octet rule obeyed only except helium. Will, uh, the remaining elements will obey the octet rule. Okay, if I am taking this uh, noble gases, why this noble gases have uh, some special character? Because of the stabilized electronic configuration. If I am taking the noble gas, okay, it will not combine with others. 
it will exist uh, as it is in the single state that is the atomicity has one monoatomic state why this because of the stabilized electronic configuration we know already okay so if i am taking the noble gases whether it will donate a electron whether it will donate a electron whether it will share the electron not possible so if i am taking this noble gases whereas the bond formation is not possible if i am taking the atoms of other for example how the bond is formed the bond will be formed the bond formation will occur due to first one sharing of electrons the bond will be formed by the sharing of a electrons second one by using of transfer of electrons the bond will be formed in the two cases one is sharing of electrons between the two atom or transfer of electron from one atom to the another atom the bond formation will occurs in two way now if i am taking the transfer of a electrons for example i am going to take a formation of a sodium chloride if i am taking sodium chloride uh, na combined with cl2 that is formation of sodium uh, plus cl2 will gives nacl that is nacl if i am going to balance this two chlorine will be if i am putting two here and two will be possible here so cl2 2 na 2 na cl is two times so 2 cl okay now how this bond will be formed so if i am taking a uh, sodium the sodium atom has how many electrons so there are totally 11 electrons now how can you write the electronic configuration of the sodium that is uh, if i am taking uh, the shell electronic configuration i can write 2 H one. Okay, uh, this is called a shell electronic configuration. Now, if I am taking this shell electronic configuration, if I am going to give a diagrammatic the representation of uh, this sodium atom, you can take this is a sodium atom. This is a sodium atom. Okay, this is a nucleus. Okay. Now, in the first, this is a nucleus. In the first shell, how many electrons I can put? I can put two. electrons so electrons i can uh, denote by using of this cross so how many electron there are two electrons i can put in the first shell and in the second uh, shell if i am taking the second shell there are totally how many electrons eight electrons so i can put 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so in the second shell how many electron eight electrons and in the third shell we can take only one electron that is the valence electron so the valence uh, electron of sodium is only one which is only available to share with the others because this is completely filled this also completely filled the shell electronic configuration the shell will be filled only the third shell will have how many electrons only one electron and that will be donated to the other atom okay now this sodium okay so sodium will last how many electron means only one electron so i can give you that sodium last electron how many electron only one electron so minus one electron okay and it becomes na plus it becomes na plus this is sodium uh, metal this is called as sodium that is uh, metal cation so this is last electron if i am comparing protons for the two species the atom and the ion the proton will be the same but what about the number of electron here the number of electron will be 11 here the number of electron will be 10 one electron last sodium ion so sodium last one electron to become a cation how many electron last only one electron so this is called a cation any species with the positive charge this is only named as a cation okay now where that last electron only one electron last but what happened to this electron? 
electron. Okay, this electron will be completely transferred from one atom to the another atom. Now I am taking the formation of a chlorine. So the electron from the sodium atom will be entirely transferred to the another atom chlorine. Now you look at the chlorine. So the chlorine will be the chlorine atom. The atomic number will be 17. The shell electronic configuration I can give you that is the electronic configuration 2, 8, 7. So first shell contain how many electrons? 2 electrons. Second shell contain how many electrons? 8. Third shell will be 7. Third shell will be 7. So now you can see the diagram. So here what happened? The chlorine, okay, chlorine gains the one electron to become Cl minus. So this is an atom, you know it's a non-metal. So non-metal gains one electron to become an anion. That is Cl minus. Cl minus. Okay. Now here I am I'm indicating one electron excess. Okay. Now I will show you the chlorine. The atomic uh, form will be first the, the nucleus. This is a chlorine nucleus. The first shell will be how many electron? There will be two electrons okay in the second shell how many electrons means uh, eight electrons okay and the third shell will be how many electrons will be seven electrons how many electrons seven electrons okay now what happens the uh, entirely the sodium atom has excess one electron that one electron will be transferred to the chlorine transferred to the chlorine so here yeah, the sodium will last one electron okay this will be acting as a donor and that last one electron will be taken by the chlorine this will accept the electron Okay, now you can ask the question, why this atom will lose, why this atom will gain that electron. So, anyway, if I am taking the periodic table, all the element will not be stable except the noble gases. Okay, so it is not stable means every atom wants to attain the stablest electronic configuration. But how this possible? Anyway, the excess electron will be last by the one atom and if suppose the leaking of electrons will be what? It will be compensated by the any one of the electrons. So here yeah, the sodium atom has excess one electron. Okay, and the chlorine has electron deficient because if you take the third shell, the third shell will be only having how many electrons? 27 electrons. Now if I am giving uh, one electron from the sodium atom the chlorine is getting what a stablest electronic configuration so in order to achieve the stablest electronic configuration only the atom will lose or the atom will gain electrons so this is how the the formation of a bond okay here uh, starting of the uh, classes I am learning about force of attraction okay so force of attraction means there will be a bond formation here I am showing how the bond is formed okay so force of attraction is nothing but a bond formed between that atom so here the sodium will last one electron the chlorine is gaining one electron so there should be some force of attraction between these two ion and it forms a molecule so sodium cation and chloride ion will combine to form a sodium chloride so this is how the molecule will attain the stablest electronic configuration